Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? What can you do to you the things that I do? I can take you high. Someone took a knife, maybe a jindal, and cut a six inch valley through the middle of my soul. And I wake up with the sheets soaking wet and a freight train running through the middle of my head. Station in America. <laughs> Big Bruce County. Big hits. Anyway, so I was not listening to BBC because I live in New Jersey. So I was sitting at home, minding my own business, probably doing something wrong that the church would scold me for. <laughs> just kidding. I just said that for effect. Um, I wasn't doing anything. I was probably playing video games. Nah, most of the time I just read books, listen to music, play video games. Maybe I smoke too many cigarettes, but that's it. I got this new book there that everybody tells me helps them quit smoking, so I'm gonna read it. But the first thing the book said was smoke through till you finish the book. I was like, awesome. <laughs> that was the first line of the book. Don't quit smoking until you finish the book. Don't start smoking. Seriously, that's a burden you don't wanna carry. It's like, it's like if somebody farted in your face for the rest of your life every day. It's the worst thing ever. And everybody looks at you funny. Uh, and if you ever go to Seattle, they, they walk by you and they cough like they're pretending. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to Seattle either. <laughs> Oof. I do like Seattle, but I don't like that thing. They do that though. They're like, if you're doing something that they don't like because they're super hip, they'll just like walk by and they're like, <coughs> <coughs> and like knowing me, I would say something completely on PC. Or... Okay, I'm gonna say it on a microphone though with YouTube. Ah, because I'm smarter than that. <laughs> I don't need college to tell me that. <laughs> my name ain't Billy Bush. I'm not getting fired from my TV show for hanging out with BT, Donald Trump. Get that, damn. I'm smarter than that. I say something stupid when you don't expect it. Anyway, where was I going with this? It was before the book and the smoking BBC. BBC, yeah. Thanks. Sweet. So, I was minding my own. And then I was sitting at home and somebody started, the Twitter feed starts blowing up and I go, Twitter sucks, why is everybody blowing up my Twitter? It's usually Instagram, what's going on? Unless anybody works from Twitter here, then it's awesome. Uh, but uh, especially if you can give me money. Anyway, so my Twitter thing starts going crazy and I thought it was Chris Farron. I thought he had done something hilarious again. No, he didn't. What it was is, so he, uh, Bruce was on the BBC and he was talking to some guy that was important, but I don't know his name. Yeah, that guy, I don't care, whatsoever. The, the point is that Bruce Springsteen was talking, and he said something about me. That's the point. Simon who? Simon Mayo? What is his name? Now, I know I'm gonna tell the story, don't ruin it. You're like the lady that tells all the jokes. I mean, you know what? Let me tell you something about life. You're pretty, that should be good enough. Right? Because the rest of us ugly people, we have to live with this. For the rest, look at his face, I gotta live with this. And his hair, I woke up like this, it won't go down. I tried to wet it and everything, it won't go down. Noel Gallagher walks around perfect hair all the time. Look at you. You probably got a nice boyfriend and stuff. I'm just kidding. I'm totally making jokes. Yeah. But, um, everybody's got their cross to bear, lady. I'm totally messing with you. I'm sure you're fine. But anyway, so they go on the on the on the radio box 
and, and they say, hey, if uh, they said one time when, when, when you, Bruce, man, you were sick, or no, you weren't sick, Bono, Bono got sick, oh no, Bono got sick. Woo! Well, who's gonna save the, the, the apes? I don't know. <laughs> who's gonna do all this? Who's gonna sponsor iPods? I don't know. Okay, I guess Bono. Anyway, so, so he got sick. He got a little cold in his, in his little, little tiny million dollar throat. And I guess he still hadn't found what he was looking for. So he goes and, goes and I don't care. Yeah. I, li I like, I like the U2 songs just as much as the next guy, but you know what, dude? That guy's got enough money for little old me to make fun of him. He can just take it. So take it like a man. I should say take it like a woman. They're way tougher than men. It's true. Men would absolutely fall apart if they had to do what you had to do. The birthing thing is ridiculous. It's absurd. You gotta get spread open like a coconut. It hurts. I can't believe it. That's why we don't have it, because we would pass out and cry. It would be terrible. So, anyway, they say that people, you know, women and men can do the same thing, and they all can do the same thing. That's not true. Women can do way more stuff than men can do. It's absurd to think that, that men can do anything. Anyway, um, so many history lessons I'm teaching you in sociology class, it's ridiculous. I don't, really, I don't know what I'm doing. I normally don't say this kind of stuff. I, like, I feel like I have a thing with you people because the people always are punishing you about the Beatles and like people always punish me about Bruce Springsteen. I'm like, he's my Bruce Springsteen and he's your Beatles. So like, let the rest of the world leave him alone. You know, like I feel like this whole city should be like, we gave you the best thing ever in the whole world. It was like inventing musical pizza. Just go away, leave us alone. Don't do our accent, okay? So I'm with you, I'm fully with you. Anyway, so they were like, yeah, Bono got sick. Anyway, so Bruce filled in for him, of course. They didn't call me. So uh, what happened is they asked him, well, who would fill in for you? And he goes, well, I guess like, you know, I mean, maybe Bono could return the favor. And then he goes, you know, actually, he goes, that kid Brian Fallon would do a good job. <laughs> Did he just really say my name out of anybody? Like he could have said anyone in the world and he says my dumb ass name? So I, like, I listened to it again. Yeah. So I listened to it again and it showed up and I sent it to all my friends. I was like, look, I told you. And I was just like, mine was blown. And so I, t I didn't even, but I didn't text him about it. I was like, I'm not gonna leave that one alone in case he changes his mind. But I'll tell you what, if he gets sick, I'm there. I know all the songs. Sorry, you guys, I'm out of here. If I get that call, I'm out. I'm selling you out like Robbie Williams. See, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, peace, band. I'm going, E Street. Woo! Yeah. I know Mary and Virginia and all those people. I know all of them, all of them. They live down the street from me. They, apparently in New Jersey, they haven't changed girls' names either since the 1970s. They're all still named the same thing. <laughs> Wait, you go slow bass, sir, Brian. That's a loud voice. I didn't hear a word you said, but I just noticed that your voice, the volume and the timber was very thick and robust. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna play a quiet song. Then I'm gonna play a bunch of loud songs. That's fine. We're gonna ramp it up slow, you know what I mean? My little... Okay. <laughs> 